Hey everybody, it's Zach KK Zach's Reviews. We are back again with another video. And guys, I just got done with Loki, episode 3. Um, guys, this was a great episode. We get a little bit more insight on who uh, Lady Loki is, or aka her name is Sylvie. She doesn't like to be called Loki. Um, we just get to learn more about her, and we get to understand a little bit of, like, I, we don't understand what her big agenda plan is yet, except she just wants to take, I guess, take down the timekeepers. We don't know why yet, but she just wants to. So we pretty much, you know, start this episode off, episode off right where we left off in the last episode, in episode two, with her, you know, psyching everybody out to go to different branches of, you know, of, you know, of different branches that have opened. So the TVA have been scattered out throughout the different branches to close those things and reset them. Pretty much she needed that distraction so she could go in. But she had to, like, extract, like, you know, where, like, they were being kept, the timekeepers or how many guards there were from the person that she captured, one of the soldiers that she captured. She was taking, the, like, up, like that memory of where, the, like, the timekeepers are and who's protecting them and stuff. So she, when she went in... When all the TVA agents were gone, she could go and, you know, take out the timekeepers. So we see her going into the TVA, her fighting all the guards. Then we see Loki come in. He's doing all of his cool stuff, you know, trying to stop her. And pretty much they end up getting sent to a planet that literally is about to get destroyed by uh, a moon. And that pretty much the agenda of what they're trying to do here is they're trying to, re like, I guess, power up their device, I guess, like, I guess the time device or whatever, because it, it ran out of juice, and Loki's keeping it from Sylvie, but he learns out her name is Sylvie, because she doesn't like to be called Loki, and pretty much we just learn, I, I, not much about her, but we learn, I, I, I feel like, we'll probably learn more as the other three episodes go on, but there was a lot to take from this episode, because they, they're on, they have to get on a train to get to, um, uh, pretty much, I guess the uh, uh, like uh, the arc, which takes them off the moon, and they want to hijack it before it gets destroyed. Because in the in the time that they're in, it's known that 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 ship never gets to take off; it gets destroyed. So they have to get to that ship so they can get out of there because the device needs charged essentially. But the device it got broken, so they couldn't use that device. So they had to get off, get out. And use the ship. That was their second, like their third option, because the device that they needed to charge got broken when Loki got thrown out of the train. So you know, I thought that was cool that they they had to get to that arc and they were gonna hijack it. I thought if they would have done that. Maybe it would have affected things, and maybe Agent Mobius was gonna find them, because as we know in the last episode, Agent like you know Loki pointed out to Mobius that she is hiding in events where there is. Where they're like, you know, uh, where like things go down, like where, you know, the worlds are supposed to end and stuff or things go badly. Like she's hiding in those events and tragic, like tragedy events. So what I do love is that, you know, I thought for sure that Mobius would be able to find them because Loki opened that like, uh, pretty much opened his eye to stuff like that. Sorry guys, my eye is somehow like very dry right now and itchy. I don't know what the hell is going on, but Literally, guys, I, I just, I love how, I thought that that would be how Agent Mobius is going to find them. I think he might still find them that way if, like, an event happens that wasn't supposed to happen. Maybe he'll be able to find, you know, Loki and, and, uh, and Sylvie. I don't know. I don't, I don't think they're going to die, though. Because at the end of this episode, we see, um, the ship blow up and pretty much, you know, Loki's face was like, oh, great, what are we supposed to do? This was our only hope. But there was a scene in here that, you know, while they're fighting to get to the, you know, the Ark, there's a scene where Loki stops a pillar from falling down on him, and then it goes back up. Sadly enough, I can't show you guys that scene, but if you guys have watched it, you guys saw that scene where Loki held, like, uh, held a pillar, and it reversed back up. A lot of people online right now are speculating he has the Time Stone. That doesn't make any sense, because if he had the Time Stone, he would have reversed it. So he like wouldn't ha like so he could go back into the TVA or he would have reversed it so he could, you know, um, reverse it for like when the thing does explode, he could reverse it and reach like and figure out a different plan how to get to there in time to get the ship and to get out of there. 
So that doesn't make any sense. And if he does have the time stone, I feel like that's poor storytelling a little bit because if he would have took a time stone, he would have used it sooner. So that's why it doesn't really make sense with people saying, oh, it's the time stone he has. He doesn't have the time stone. I think he, he's just, he was using his magic and that's how he was able to do that. I don't think it's the time stone though. So I just want to debunk that a little bit because I don't know, it could still happen. I don't know. But the way they made it look when, Lo like, when Loki saw the shit blow up, it looked like they, he lost all hope that they were going to get off that planet. And he's kind of maybe hoping that Mobius or any of them finds them. But then again, we don't know what's going to happen. They might find their own way out of there or Agent Mobius might find them. We don't know. All we know is that in this episode, we find out when Sylvie captured, you know, uh, the guard. And like we saw that margarita scene. That was actually her... Uh, her, like, I guess, like, before she got, you know, got, like, you know, uh, before she worked for the TVA. So she was once on Earth before. Then she went to go work for the TVA. Either A, she was taken, and she was, like, you know, and, you know, her the her rest of her memories were, like, fogged up because, um, you know, um, you know, you know, uh, I forget, uh, Sylvie said that, you know, her mind was so cloudy and she couldn't find anything. She had to go for a past memory uh, before she worked for the TVA. Which means, remember how, you know, that was a past memory of hers, and she, you know, and, um, and she, it was Sylvie pretty much confirmed that they're all variants, meaning that they were never made by the timekeepers, as everybody thinks. Agent Mobius thinks that they were just made by the timekeepers, meant to do the greater good, meant for a higher purpose. And Loki remembers, like, no, that's not true, this, this, and that, like, he's like, there's no way you guys were made to do that, you know what I mean? Like, your, your future and your, and your, um, and your, uh, what do, you, what do you say? And your purpose is never just all planned out or whatever. So that pretty much Loki was right. And, you know, I get it. It's kind of funny. Another Loki was right about that. So remember also how Agent Mobius said that, you know, he he's like so obsessed with reading about jet skis. What if that was my theory is, is what if that was his past life? Him with the jet skis and stuff that would ex explain why he's so obsessed with them. And like and any one any like. He's like, and he wants to do it so much, but he feels like he can't do it. And he feels like that's the life and that time. Maybe he was from that time and then he was taken by either A, the timekeepers and, they, and they're just, you know, and they're actually bad. And they're just using these, using these people, fogging up their memories and using them as their bidding, you know, like, and maybe the one leader of the TVA is a part of it. Maybe she actually is working with the timekeepers to put, keep people in check so they don't remember anything. Maybe that's why she won't let Mobius have any trinkets from when he's jumping around different branches of time. Maybe that's why, because they could spark memories and stuff, and she doesn't want him knowing anything. Hence why a lot of people don't know about, you know, gunning a fish and all this stuff, is because they erased, like, they fogged up their memory so they wouldn't remember their lives. So pretty much they're just, you know... They're being controlled. They're in a, in a situation where they don't know, they don't remember their past lives. They want to make it look like, the TVA wants to make it look like, or at least the leader does, is that they were made by the timekeepers to do this and only this. So guys, that's my theory, guys. I want to know what you guys thought about that too. If you, know, do you guys think my theory is right. I want to know what you guys thought about the whole people saying, you know, Loki has the time stone, this, this, and that. I feel like if he had the time stone, he would have used it for that spaceship blowing up. Like he would have just reversed it. Um, uh, unless there's uh, saving it for the, like the next episode, but even then, it's like why would you use it then and not use it for the rest of the thing? I don't know. At the end of the day, I hope that's not the case, and I hope he doesn't have it. I just that would make no sense for all the other stuff he did earlier in the episode. It could have saved them a lot of trouble. But then again, it's Loki. Loki's a person that sometimes doesn't think things through a lot. He's got a mischief, but at the same time, of course, we all know he's he's not very smart and very bright. So. Um, but guys, I can't wait to know what you guys thought about episode three of Loki. Let me know down in the comments below what are your theories. Let me know what you guys thought about the theory of Loki having a time stone. Let me know about, like, do you guys think my theory is right about Agent Mobius? Maybe, and that's why, you know, he's obsessed with jet skis is because that was his past life or whatever. That makes sense. And, you know, I, I, I pointed that out and I even told my sister, I was like, you know, that, you know, I was like, that kind of looked like the time stone, but that would make no sense how he would have the time stone, but it would, it would make sense that he could only use it there because he, he, his magic was working there. But then again, it doesn't make sense why he would just use it at that moment and not to get back on the train. So it just didn't, didn't make sense to me at some points, but 
I don't know, guys. I want to know what your theories are down below. I want to know how you guys thought about the episode. Again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Put on those notifications like this video, guys. Um, I'd love to have you guys here, a part of this family here on this channel. We are at 318 on subs, guys. I'm trying to get to 400, guys. So please, again, subscribe to the channel. Let me know down below in the comments that you subscribe. Just say I subscribe down, be in, down below in the comments. But without further ado, I'll, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. I hope everybody has a great day, a safe day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.